On assignment 10, you will focus on functions as well as you did last assignment. But in this assignment, you will be working with two more functions than the main function. So let's go ahead and start off our pseudocode. Okay, so the assignment says, write a program that computes and displays the charges for patient's hospital stay. First, the program will, should ask if the student was admitted as an inpatient or an outpatient. If the patient was an inpatient, it's going to ask a few questions. If the patient was an outpatient, it's going to ask different questions or just two of the four questions. Okay, and then again, the assignment explains what the program should do. So the program is going to use two overloaded functions and in the modules, you will actually go back to last week's function videos to help you out with this because it's pretty much the same, just using two functions instead of one extra. So uh, basically, you will use two functions to calculate the total charges. One of the functions should accept the arguments for the inpatient data. The other one will do the arguments for outpatient information. Both functions will return the total charges and then you will print it out to the screen. And also remember that there's input validation again. So the program, when it comes to pseudocode, the first thing you're going to do is, of course, declare your variables. You're going to accept input. You're going to do some processing. And then you're going to do output. OK, so what is the input? Well, the very first input you're going to have is, is it, you're going to found, find out if it is inpatient or outpatient. And that's basically just a C out. Then you're going to have a C in that accepts the input. Okay, then you're going to call functions depending on what that input is. So you're going to call an inpatient function or you're going to call the outpatient function. Okay, well now how does it, how does your program know that it's going to call the inpatient or the outpatient? Because it can only be either one. Well, we know that there's something that we use if there's a certain situation. And in this situation, if the answer is inpatient, you're going to call the inpatient function. If the answer is outpatient, you're going to call the outpatient function. Then in those functions, you're going to actually ask the user for information. Then you're going to do the output. Okay, so you're going to ask the user this information if it is inpatient, and then ask this information if it is the outpatient. But also notice that it says one of the functions should accept the arguments, and then the other function should accept the arguments, and then both functions should, ex to, should just return the total charges and then you would print it out to the screen. So what that means is that you are only going to do one output outside of those functions. So you have these two functions here, and that's actually the processing. So I'll, I'll put that up on top. And outside of those functions, you're going to have the output. Well, what is the output? It says it's going to, the functions are, get, are going to return the total charges and then you're going to print the total to the screen. 
So output the total charge. And then again, okay, so now that we know that we need to call functions, that also means that we need to create functions. So now we're talking about this is in the main function and everything inside of the main function needs to be indented for pseudocode or at least indented further. And let's go ahead and do our curly braces so that we know that all of this is inside of the main function. And now we know that we have a function called inpatient and another function called outpatient. And inside each of these functions, you're going to ask the user for info in each one of these functions. Okay, and then it says that the functions are going to accept the arguments. And then they're going to return the total charges. So what that means is, is it's actually going to do the calculations inside the function. So not only is it going to, oh, I'm sorry, this is not the function. The functions are up here, the inpatient function and the outpatient function. So inside these functions, not the main function, the specific functions, you're going to do calculations to figure out what the total is. Okay, and so after that, you would figure out, well, how much are those things? That's what the calculations are for. You're going to count, calculate if it is an inpatient, what would the charges be? And if it is an outpatient, what would the charges be? And that is basically all of your pseudocode. Okay, and of course, um, there is a bit more to these calculations, but I want you to figure that out. Uh, for each one of these, it's different when it comes to the daily rate and the hospital medication charges. And another thing too, is I want you to do input validation. So we do not want negative numbers for any data. So any data that you accept from the user, nothing should be negative. So the question is, how do we do that? And when you're asking for information, that's when you verify what, uh, as long as the numbers are higher than zero or zero or above. And I'm not gonna add this to your pseudocode because um, this is something we've been doing and I truly think you can do it. So best of luck and let me know if you have issues. I created a uh, discussion for tutoring so please utilize that they are there to help you and I'm, I'll also be checking on that discussion as well but if you really need help send me an email thanks for watching bye